Combo two. Flash points of combo two. Obviously, the first two motions are pretty easy with the sun down my key or high block, followed by reverse middle punch. The front fake roundhouse kick is something new. What we do with front fake, it's actually two motions. The first motion is very loose, and then you go to the roundhouse kick, which is a little harder. When I say harder, it's a little stiffer, a little stronger. The front fake, you want to take your foot and kind of Flick it, kind of flick to the low area, kind of flick into the low area, flick into the low area. The intermediate for front fake roundhouse kick would be like so. Flick low, bring your knee up. Flick low, bring your knee up. Flick low, bring your knee up. And on the front fake roundhouse kick, you flick low, kick high. Flick. So front fake roundhouse kick is a kick that, while we have it in combo two, not very many students use it in sparring, but it always catches opponents by surprise. I bet you you're going to be one of the few people that start using front fake roundhouse kick in your decision-based sparring. And after the roundhouse kick, front fake roundhouse kick, just like combination number one, you finish with a nice back fist to the high area. This way, like throwing a frisbee, follow the reverse middle punch, and finish in a nice neutral stance. This is something that or, or yellow belts can start working on. We punch by thrusting our hip out, and we come in neutral stance, we just don't bring our arm back, that disconnects our hip. What we do is the arm moves back because the hip comes back to the side stance. After the punch over here, always thrust your hip forward, when you come back to neutral, thrust your hip back. One more point on combo two, because we're starting to do form tips voluntary for your combo form. The combo form follows the same eye pattern. Let's say I start over here, I'll just do a few motions. High block, reverse punch, front big round, half back fist punch. Right foot, just like basic form one, two, and three, is forward. When we turn, it's the easy turn. The front foot moves, high block, punch, front foot, roundhouse, back fist, punch. Left foot then at the end of the eye is forward, and then we move the left foot into the eye, just like we do on basic four, one, two, and three. Here, boom. And then we end up with our right foot forward, the last motion of combination number two, just like basic four, one, two, three. Then we do the tricky turn, which the back foot moves, and then we go into our combo. So you get the idea that doing your combo form is as easy, if not easier, than doing all of your basic form. Those are the flash points of combo number two.